Rebecca Woodworking again. So today I'm going to show you how I built this uh, very nice designer block card for my, uh, for my little nephew who's turning one this weekend. It's a pretty easy project, you don't really need a lot of tools and uh, I bet most of you could do this uh, as well. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to start out by uh, cutting all my, uh, all my pieces of wood from this, uh, from this large plank of ash. I'll start by uh, doing the cross cuts uh, since it's uh, less work and it makes uh, the rip sawing uh, a lot easier. So now I have uh, both pieces uh, cut to the right length. I'm going to uh, rip saw them in half. I'm going to put a chalk line down the middle and um, make, a, make the first rough cut. So we have all the wood now at the, the, the right thickness, length and width, so uh, it's time to make some dovetails now. Which is really cool because I can uh, get to use my, uh, my homemade marking tools for this. Nice job at uh, uh, smoothing all the pieces. Looks nice and shiny. And somehow, well, I have no idea why, but somehow this plane uh, seems to do the job of uh, smoothing way better than uh, its uh, metal counterparts like uh, the Stanley. I mean, look at these shavings. I haven't uh, been able to, uh, to make shavings like that with the metal planes. But anyway, uh, let's continue. So, I have the frame uh, all finished up now. Uh, dovetails are pretty pretty good. I think they are the best ones uh, I've made so far. They're not perfect yet, but uh, I'm getting somewhere. So let's glue everything together.
Now I'm going to use uh, this piece of uh, a very thin Marendi plywood. It looks pretty good, but it needs to be sanded up. But before that, I'm going to uh, cut out a piece that will serve as the bottom of the car. I wanted to attach the bottom with uh, screws, but as you can see, well you can't really see it, but uh, 10, 10 out of 10 screws uh, snapped here. This is what you buy um, in modern day hardware stores. You, you just buy, you pay lots of money for complete crap and just... I am unable to get these screws out unless I ruin the, uh, the, the bottom, so uh, well, here's to you. Uh, Hardware stores. Well, uh, I'm just going to nail this uh, bottom on with as, ma as many nails as possible, make it um, as strong as I can, and then we will uh, cover it up with these um, with these small um, shims of wood. Uh, it's the only solution I see right now. So. Uh So I had these uh, small strips of uh, ash laying around, so I uh, made a mud cut. Not really high quality, but uh, still it covers that horrible mess of those uh, holes and screws and countersunk holes up. It gives us a nice, uh, nice line around the edge. So I'm going to glue that up and then uh, I'm uh, going to make a start on the wheelbase. I'm going to build the wheelbase out of this piece of ash. As you can see, it's a really nice uh, flame in it. So uh, I'm going to cross cut it to length first and uh, then rip saw it to the right width. Mm -hmm. 